Wear the scare. Sounds like a Halloween event, but actually it's a promotion for a downtown burger joint. Adrian Gobriel with how the chain's owner is trying to break down Muslim stereotypes. The jihadists are coming, the jihadists are coming, you know, you might find one under your bed if you're not careful. It's a perceived state of fear gripping our country, and one man is standing up to it in his own way, trying to break Islamophobia. We're not that scary, man. We like burgers, too. He's a high school teacher, a co-owner of a popular burger chain with a passion for comedy. I'm Big Mo. <laughs> I can't stay very long. I'm in between meals. <laughs> But when Big Mo, a.k.a. Mohammed Salah, introduces himself to someone, he grapples with his own identity crisis and how he might be received. Hi, my name's uh, Mohammed. Uh, I mean Mo. Uh, I mean Big Mo. You know, I get these internal conflicts. Through it all, his laugh still fills a room. <laughs> Born in Toronto, raised in an Egyptian household, Big Mo says he witnessed a shift in the way Muslims are viewed here in Canada the day Michael Zihaf Bibo stormed Parliament Hill. Mo decided to do something about it and use the two things he knows best, food and humor. I thought satire. I'm like, yes, comedy is a funny way of being serious. Let's do something silly and let's shed some light and awareness and sell some burgers. It's called Wear the Scare. Basically, anyone who has a little bit of facial hair or wears a veil or has a beard walks into Big Mo's and says, I wear the scare, you get 50% off a Juicy Lucy burger. Now, his customers are having a lot of fun with it, but it's also helping bring up an important conversation. I work with a lot of people, and they all say, like, oh, Muslim people did this, or the terrorists did that, and they kind of socialize everybody with terrorists so that has a beard. Accept us, because we, we're accepting people also. Like, we are okay with everyone and anyone. It's a challenge challenge to put yourself out there and and, um, and speak out for people who aren't speaking for themselves. Big Mo admits his thought-provoking campaign has received some resistance from one of his hardest critics. My mother was like, why are you doing this? Why don't you just sell burgers? Why don't you just get married and have children like everybody else? And I was like, you know what? I will do that. But I want to do this first. I wear the scare. There you go. Now you don't need to have facial hair or wear a hijab to join in on the promotion. Big Mo says it's all about inclusiveness and the fact we're all one. No matter your skin color, no matter your faith, at the bottom, you know, bottom line, at the end of the day, is how you conduct yourself. Big Mo's hoping his promo does stir up a little bit of controversy, helps people strike up the conversation and put some fears to rest in our city. He's also hoping to sell a few burgers and have a few laughs along the way. Outside Big Mo's at Lawrence and Pharmacy, Adrian Gobriel, City News.